Hey folks, Nick here, sales rep with BTOD, and today we're gonna to talk about wire management. What is it, what does it do, and why do you need it? Here at BTOD, we have two types of wire management, vertical and horizontal. Vertical wire management, also called snake wire management, because it folds back and forth on itself like the motion of a snake as the desk goes up and down, is going to be used mainly for all of your cords or cables that are coming off of the desk going straight to the floor. It's great for purposes when you have your power source coming from the floor or you have multiple cables like your power cord, maybe a power strip, an ethernet cable, phone cable, or other types of cables and cords that you need to plug into a wall. The nice thing about the vertical wire management is that it is segmented. So you can take pieces out to adjust the height of the snake wire management so that it fits your desk, giving you a proper look and fit. The vertical wire management we have here at BTOD, because it's segmented and compartmentalized, there are four separate compartments that you can use for different cables to group together or keep separate from each other. Whether you have one cord, eight cords, or somewhere in between, the vertical wire management is gonna give you the cleanest setup for your desk, keeping all those cords and cables together. Here at BTOD, we have two types of horizontal wire management. We have a wire management tray and a wire management box. The difference between these two types of wire managements and your need for them may be dictated by the amount of cables or wires that you have underneath your desk. Installation for both the tray and the box are going to be similar. They attach to the back side of your desk underneath the work surface, and they're going to fit in between the legs of your vert desk base. The wire management tray is going to have a slight lip on it with an opening that is going to be ideal for managing your cables and cords for about up to four, possibly five wires or cables. You may want to start to consider the wire management box once you reach five or eight cables, as that amount of cords or cables may cause some spillage from your wire management tray. Anytime you have eight or more cables or wires that you're trying to manage, I strongly recommend the box because it will keep everything intact. The box is going to provide you with the cleanest look regardless of how many cables or cords that you have. A nice thing about the wire management box is that it is deeper than the tray, has a nice opening, and a easily removable cover. Positioning the tray or the box, you're able to position those accessories either way, with the opening facing towards the back of the desk or towards the front if you have the desk up against a wall and you still want to manage and access your wires easily. Sometimes when you're adding additional accessories to your desk, such as a monitor mount that's clamped on, you may have to reverse the wire management box or tray so that it is facing the back, which would allow the clamp to securely be placed on your desk. When deciding which route to go, wire management tray or box, some factors that you wanna consider are how many wires or cables that you have. Anytime you have up to five cables, the wire management tray will be sufficient to keep all of those contained. But if you are managing five or more, I strongly recommend the box because it's going to keep everything together. The wire management box is always going to give you the cleanest look to your setup. If you do want the cleanest look for your desk setup, you can utilize both the horizontal and vertical wire management together. Thank you for watching, and if you found this information useful, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on our other social media where we have additional content and information for you for your office setup.